Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit any kind of image from Leonardo AI. So I'm going to be using this image that I went ahead and created, and we're going to be editing it together. We're going to be removing backgrounds, changing colors, um, upscaling. We're going to be doing the whole thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the image into an app called Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo is the editing app that I use for all these different functions that cover every single need that I could possibly have. If you never tried Luminar Neo, I'll leave the link in the description box down below at the cheapest place that you can get it. There's a lot of different websites that do sell the software, so uh, I'll leave that link in the description. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do is I'm going to upload the image. The second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my background is black. Now in this case, the background is actually black i'm lucky but a lot of cases it's not and especially if you guys are watching this i want this tutorial to be the best possible so go ahead and go over here to vignette and then go over here to the amount and then move this all the way to the left and you could actually see it made a small difference right there in the edge right um because that's what a vignette does it, it puts that black border all around and you can increase the size of that vignette then what you want to do is you want to have your actual art stand out a little more right this whole section you want to kind of move to the front slightly so we have here this develop and then we have a smart contrast and what that contrast does is that does give it effect that it's going to be kind of in the front slightly more all right now something that i will say is uh if you want to erase certain parts of the image because you feel like certain parts should not be there well there's an erase tool all right so i'm going to go over here and hit erase i'm going to select a brush okay i'm going to make this brush actually a little bit smaller and i'm going to zoom in so let's just say this portion right here i'm going to strategically slowly erase parts of it so for example like this and i'm going to go ahead and hit erase there you go it looks slightly better all right something like this right here I'll go ahead and erase this. All right, give that a second. There we go. That that looks better overall. I can even take this a little bit further, right, and erase it kind of like that. And let's see how it looks. And you know that genuinely does look significantly better. And that was one of the errors that I went ahead and fixed. Right. Um, let's just see if there's something else I want to go ahead and erase. Let's say I want to make this part, which kind of looks like a horn look more like an ear I can go ahead and erase a part of it so I'll go over here hit erase right and that looks a little bit better go ahead and go like this hit erase this should be just a black background there we go and this is a smart erase so it's it has this uh, kind of AI built into it and I'm gonna remove these little lines here because they do look a little bit like horns or they give that little horn effect and uh, not every erase goes the way you want, so, you know, keep that in mind. So now I'm going to have to go in here and manually just erase these little lines, all right? Make it a little bit more effective, all right? And there we go. Let me go ahead and erase this, hit erase, and hit erase. And there's always these little errors within AI art that, you know, you might not fully be happy with, and, and it happens, right? Um, so that's actually pretty decent and uh what i actually noticed here is this section in the horse there's like these where the jaw muscle is supposed to be it's supposed to be like one kind of curve right and then it should be like somewhat of a line so then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to erase once again and i'm going to go here and i'm going to very very lightly right remove this kind of line right here and what I'll do is in my uh, drawing, uh, when I go back and do the drawing, or when I make the drawing better in GIMP, I will re I will add kind of like, kind of create this curve a little bit more uh, uniform. So you can see here I'm erasing the different elements, and I'm actually going to erase this part right here, just like that. And what should happen is this should technically just connect. So it should be somewhere like this right it should connect somewhere here all right so i'll go ahead and hit erase and then let me go ahead and erase this 
right? And it should connect somewhere here. And then what happens is this should be a flat line kind of here. So I'm going to erase this point as well. So I can always increase my brush here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, right? So just like that. And it's kind of missing a part there. All right, there we go. And it's already looking more natural. It's a little already looking better. Um, I can erase this portion kind of like this to take out that curve and hopefully it works well and once again when you, when you erase a little bit more you do have these weird encounters where certain things that shouldn't be there end up being there um, so don't be afraid to you know reverse it change it something like that right um, let's see what, we're, what work we can do in the draw here if this is the line that I want um, what I can do is I can keep this kind of one uniform line, or I could remove something. Uh, let's see what happens if I remove something, right? So here, let's say the mouth, let's say this is the mouth area, right? Then technically, the line should go somewhat here and close off over there. So technically, it should stop somewhat here. And then this whole section should kind of be connected or let me go ahead and remove that. It should be kind of connected to this point, right? So it should be a line here, line here, and then a line kind of like that. So that should be connected, right? And yeah, that's about right. So let's go ahead and erase that. And let's do this. Let's just clean up these little mistakes here. Let's go here. Hit erase right there clean up those lines this little spec here I'll go ahead and erase this as well okay and looks overall really good all right so yeah it does look better let me go ahead and clean this portion up real quick and this portion up real quick as well hit erase and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the image and see if there's anything else that I can change in it or add to it or anything like that now before I take it over to GIMP because this image is not perfectly ready just yet actually now that I look at this I could probably just erase this section here this section here let's go ahead and do that now that I look at it you know and let's see here I could probably just remove this section here Let's go ahead and hit erase. All right. Remove a little bit more. Nice and slow. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yep. We're kind of getting closer to what I want. So, anyways, now that that's taken care of, uh, we can go ahead and check if we can do any other edits. So... Let's say I have a detail section here. It, you can always take a look at what the detail section will do. Like it, in different photos, it will kind of play different rules. But here I have these medium details and you can see how it created more lining here. In that case, what I'll do is I'll bring this back, right? Bring this back to zero. I'll go to masking. And let's say I want to give um, emphasis to a certain area. Let's say this area, right? I'll kind of draw over this area, right? And then what I'll do is I'll go over here to adjustments and then I will kind of change how that looks. So you could see very, very slightly the details will either go up or down, right? So if I want to sharpen it, you very slightly you can tell, right? So I'll move this to zero, right? You see how it looks now move it all the way up. It does look a little bit different. The background kind of shifts slightly, right? And I actually think I like a little bit less details to be 100% honest with you. Um, in this specific section. Uh, we also have the denoise, right? I can increase my luminosity. So essentially what's brighter will be a little bit brighter, right? And I can work on my color. So you could see here, I kind of did a little bit of a shift in terms of how it will look, uh, but probably not where I want it to be. These are some of the settings that I really like, the creative ones. So I could go here to dramatic, um, and check out what kind of changes that will do depending on the image. I like the image where it's at now. Here we have sun rays. Um, not sure 
exactly if I would want something like this. I think it just depends on the situation. Uh, we have atmosphere, right, where you can select the actual atmosphere. You have mist, you have haze, you have fog. This is going to be a photo that I could, for example, take for a t-shirt. So I'll just remove the background once that's done. Um, here we have mystical, right? So you could see how that shifts the image. It almost creates like this blurriness to it. And I actually like the mystical effect. So I'm going to actually add a little bit to it. And you can see here the shadows does make a difference on the photo. And I'm going to take the shadows and move it all the way to the right so there's less shadows. And the smoothness also does play a difference as well. And um, I'm thinking I'll just leave it right in the middle, right? Like, kind of like that. And let's just say I'm done now with the work of the image, right? I'm going to take this and upscale it. So I'm going to drag and drop it here into the upscaler and hit upscale. So now I'm upscaling this by 2x. It used to be 2,256 by 2928. Now it should be double. So all I have to do is wait for it to upscale and to know that it's completed, the app will automatically take me to the upscale folder. Does that make sense? So that's going to help out a lot. And the benefit of this, of upscaling, is that when I print this out on a t-shirt or a hoodie or something like that, I have a, a higher DPI. And DPI just means the dots per inch. So when you're printing something out, right, on a design, you want it to have a higher DPI. The higher DPI, the more essentially better the better it looks there's no other way to say it it's not going to look as foggy or as pixelated on a t-shirt and it just makes a better cleaner image overall so right now the image is 4500 by 5800 right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to save the image so i'm going to go over here to disk i'm going to give it a name like a random name right just like some random numbers hit save and it's exporting now while that's exporting i'm going to open up gimp okay and i'm going to show you what i was going to do with GIMP. So let's go ahead and let this load. And I'll kind of give you guys uh, a briefing as to what I would do in this situation uh, because it's a little bit, the image is a little bit different now, right? So the image is here. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the image right there. Okay. And I'm going to first do a color select. So the color select tool is right here. All right. That's what I call it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select something like this, right? Because I want to match the color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out one of these brushes. It could be a pencil. It could be, you know, a brush. It could be so many different things. Uh, you could play around with the, the, the way that the brush looks, all those kind of things. But uh, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to start to kind of look in inward and outward of where I want to start filling in the lines that I erased previously. So let's just say this curve, I kind of want it to be somewhat like somewhat like this like it's not perfect but it's not bad either right so 25 percent okay let's go ahead and put this at let's say 12 and a half percent that doesn't look too bad honestly it doesn't look too bad at all uh it's just i have to ma make sure the colors is matched right this doesn't look as bad as it once did right and then i go over here 200 percent, and then we have here once again the colors so i'm going to color select and I think a better color is a color like this because it will reach me a little bit to the edge and then what I'll do is very slowly right with not perfectly straight lines start closing in and you could see here now it becomes more defined and it looks genuinely better and then I'll go back to 200% zoom out right and kinda get this thing to start connecting kinda like this and then once again color select okay and start working here now am i an expert designer no as you can see um but does it work better at the end yeah it does right so i'm gonna go over here back at 200 right and then i'm gonna do kind of like a curve kind of like this right or i might even shift how the curve looks but um it actually should be something probably like this right like that so let me go ahead and that's actually the benefit of zooming out and looking at this but go here to 400 right and first figure out where I want this to go so it should be something like that um, and by the way I could even create like a small little white line right so something like this go to 100 or 200 percent right and you could see here 
let's just say I want it to be something it doesn't have to be like this it could be kind of like that <clears throat> and just follow that line so let me go ahead and do that All right probably don't want it to be that tall but the line to be that tall but let's go ahead and have this here and then make this a little bit smaller you know let's see let's go kind of like that and that's not bad now what I could do is I could blend this I can make it a little bit softer um, let me go ahead and erase this or rather let's go ahead and color select select this dark color and then just draw over slightly this section where the white was and then part of the reason why this doesn't look 100% right is because it's too thick right so it could look something like this you know something like that and erasing does help and let's go ahead and zoom out and overall that will look pretty good on a t-shirt right so once again, it's not perfect. It's a little bit bigger than what I thought. I think mainly, I yeah, and you know, you could play around with it. It's not going to be perfect right away, and that's why it's pretty valuable to do the editing, and you can figure out where you want the lines to be. Um, but uh, not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It could be better, but it's not bad, right? Especially if you're doing something super, super quick. Um, and that's kind of where I would leave it. Then I would go over here, select the background, right? And then what I would do is hit erase and I would go for and first of all layers uh, transparency at alpha channel and go and hit erase and then I would start erasing that black I wouldn't just select unanimously for the whole entire thing to be selected because I would manually kind of choose where I want to erase it I don't I don't usually go with automatic uh, background removers uh, that's just a little FYI it's very rare that I'll do that um, but if I know that my t-shirt is going to have like, let's just say a black background to it, then I don't mind doing this. Now you might say, well, why would you remove the background on this? Uh, if you're going to have a black t-shirt, well, the reason why is because sometimes when a, when a t-shirt is printed, the black that's in the art, right? Like this section right here is not exactly the same when it comes out on the t-shirt and that does make a difference, right? It's, you're going to see like a light, uh, box, almost like an overlay uh, on the shirt, and it's not going to look good in the background. So that's not something that I want to present, especially in my clothing line. If I'm charging customers for a T-shirt or something like that, um, I don't want to, to have a, have to deal with a refund because a customer doesn't like the way that looks because there's some sort of overlay or it looks you know different as advertised or something like that. So uh, that's that's kind of important to kind of wrap your head around. But now that that's completed, right, I'm going to hit select and select none. Let's go ahead and hit select all, select none, select all, whatever. And you could see kind of how it looks. It does look a little bit different now. Um, once again, it could be improved, but let's go ahead and see how this looks now on a black t-shirt. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so here I'm on Place It, which is a, a great place for mock-ups. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and use this for your clothing line. Uh, but essentially, I could place really cool mock-ups uh, for my design and showcase it in different ways. And you could see here that the design looks pretty decent on the t-shirt. So I can move it upward a little bit more. And I'm not sure why they kind of don't link up in terms of placing, but you could go ahead and see here. Uh, how the design looks on a t-shirt and it doesn't look too bad at all and this is after me doing those lines doing the edits you know removing the background and making it a little more realistic of a design also I want to point out on a t-shirt as well the ear you could see here it doesn't look so much like a horn like the original image and if we compare guys the original uh, this is not the original this was the the remake here of the image which I believe Let's see, is this the original? This is the original. So here, right, we have the original, then we have the edit. And then after this, we have the GIMP version, which is right here, right? So we went from, this is number one, this is number two, and then this is finally number three, right? The t-shirt version. 
and you could see the little steps that we took each time. It doesn't make a huge difference, but these small things like the jaw, the mouth, the ear, these kind of things will make a difference. This little eye section right here uh, made a little bit of a difference over time. And little steps make big changes along the way. So you could see here on a t-shirt, looks really, really good, I would say. And uh, definitely a buyable design. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Bye.